Hello and welcome to Airgun Web Airgun Reviews, where we bring you the facts, not fluff. My name is Rick Utzler, and I'm very excited to dive into today's airgun. Now, the QB Chief hit my desk just a short time ago, and I'm frankly blown away by what kind of performance I'm getting from this little PCP. Want to know what I'm all excited about? Stay tuned. The Beeman QB Chief is going to look very familiar to air gunners who've been around for a while. It's essentially the QB78 CO2 rifle that's been converted to run on HPA. Now this type of conversion has been around for years and it's been done many different ways. Now what Beeman has done is taken the very best of what the QB has to offer in accuracy, simplicity, and a very, very aggressive price point and done all the work for you, no conversion necessary. Now the QB Chief is heavier than it looks due in part to the full-length air cylinder that's designed to operate at a max 2,000 PSI fill. The action is set into an ambidextrous wood stock that's simplistic, yet completely functional. Traditional shooters will really like the QB Chief because it maintains both front and rear fiber optic sights. The rear sight is fully adjustable. The receiver is grooved to handle 11 millimeter dovetail mounts and your favorite optic. Now I've mounted a Hawk Vantage Side Focus 4 to 16 by 44. I really, really like the side focus and half mil dot reticle, and it's very affordable too. The QB Chief is a single shot bolt action rifle. Now the original QB line used a cock on close system. This new iteration uses a cock on open system, which I feel is a bit easier to manage, especially for younger shooters. Now the trigger on the QB Chief frankly amazed me. I was certainly not expecting to find a fully adjustable single stage trigger like this one. Each adjustment is easily definable and there's no mystery as to what does what when you're setting it up. In no time at all, I was able to adjust my trigger to a one pound, five ounce trigger pull with zero creep and minimal over travel. There's the potential to over adjust the trigger and have insufficient sear engagement. This can leave the rifle in a dangerous state. If you don't know what you're doing, get someone to help you who does. You are responsible for your own tinkering. There is a manual safety located in the trigger group. Now operation is very straightforward. Simply connect your fill device, be it a hand pump, pony bottle, scuba tank, or carbon fiber tank to the 1 8 male QD fitting and slowly fill the rifle to 2000 PSI. Each fill up will yield about 20 solid shots. 30 if you take it all the way down to 1000 PSI, but velocity really takes a nosedive after the 20 shots. Once full, you simply pull back the bolt, load your pellet, close the bolt, and gently squeeze the trigger. Be sure to be mindful of your environment and utilize the safety accordingly. Let's go ahead and talk about performance. On paper, you're supposed to get about 30 shots and up to 850 feet per second. I gotta tell you that you're gonna hit both of those marks pretty easily. Now, personally, I would recommend refilling after 20 shots as the drop in velocity is gonna decrease your accuracy, especially if you're shooting past 25 yards. As for velocity, I'm shooting the 15.89 grain JSBs and I'm getting around 831 feet per second, or just about 25 foot-pounds. So now, the lighter pellets are certainly gonna hit that 850 mark with no problem. Now, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time or energy talking about what pellets don't work. Rather, I'm gonna show you three of the best pellets I've found so far. Now, we had some really windy conditions during filming, so we only shot out to about 25 yards. Now, don't worry, I'm gonna be taking this out to Texas, and I'm gonna be able to really stretch it out and see what we can get at longer ranges, you're just gonna to have to be patient for that. Now also, I didn't re-zero between pellets, so the point of impacts, pretty much exactly what you're gonna get as you change pellets. You can always find the pellet you want and adjust your zero from there. Here's what I've got so far from these three test pellets at 25 yards.
So, am I excited about this new budget PCP? Oh, heck yeah. Sub $200 for a traditionally styled woodstock PCP with open sights, great accuracy, respectable shot count, and a fully adjustable metal trigger. Now there's maybe only one thing on the QB Chief that would give any air gunner a little bit of a pause, and that is that it's a little bit on the loud side. I wouldn't want to shoot this on my front yard range at the house, but if noise is not an issue, as far as I'm concerned, what's not to love about this air gun? I'd like to take a moment to thank Pyramid Air for sponsoring Airgun Web in these videos. When you're looking for your next air gun or you're looking to buy your next batch of air gun supplies, please do so at www.pyramidair.com and be sure to let them know that Rick sent you their way. And when you're looking for real world air gun reviews, come here to Airgun Web where we tell you the facts, not fluff. For now, my name is Rick Utzer with Airgun Web. Thanks for watching.